Welcome back everyone to Survival Chaos And as usual lately we are going to play with Alpic Because we want to prevent someone from getting the Demons, the Rogue and the Blood Elves Who are still crashing this game sadly enough <sighs> Yeah I really do prefer playing with all random But hey Making sure that the game cannot crash is better I suppose so we are going for the night elves here. So we got dwarves against us and orc. I'm going for the night elves because my F is the last bonus that has been requested. So we are going for her. I still have three open requests for the demons, and that are Archimond, the Shivaras, and the Infernal. Drop with the uh, demons, of course, but we are not able to play as the demons due to obvious reasons. <laughs> Research finished. At least he did not random one of the three crashing races. So yeah, the troll might upgrade early on against us because of the gold mine. So you should be careful about that. My F is really strong. She is an amazing hero killer. But overall I really like Tirana. I mean, she's so hot <laughs> and she's a great wave killer. So yeah, I will miss her in this game. But yeah, my F is quite useful. Oh wow. I'm tired of these games. Illidan will be mine. <laughs> oh, the trolls are doing an amazing job so far. He upgraded the weapon attack. Good to know. We are winning against the trolls, probably against the orcs as well. Too bad we are performing so poorly at the middle lane, but we are going to change that ASAP. On edge the war. It should be good. It uh, doesn't seem like anyone went for an early game bonus here. Yeah, I'm going for one weapon attack. Oh, turtle riders. Yeah, they will definitely eat my huntresses here. That does suck. We bought one extra of those. Interesting. Yeah, we're losing everywhere right now. Let's go for the extra resources because we are really, really slow when it comes to income here. Let's just hope we will not get too many reinforcements. Because we need to get rid of those ASAP and we will get a decent army here. Yeah, those trolls are quite strong. I'm a bit surprised that we did lose this fight against them. But hey, it's just the way it is. Look at all those shamans. Ugh. At least one of them went down there. Yeah, we can take damage on our base, that's fine. I 
the Orc also upgraded the middle barracks, but the turtle will probably win this fight. Or at least gain the most resources. Also buggy is good to know. That means more pillage material for the orcs. FK again. Yeah. That's crazy. I should check that out. I never used the go before. <laughs> Yeah, what a silly fight this is. Yeah, I will upgrade against the troll soon. I don't like upgrading against him early on, but there's a gold mine over there, so he will most likely upgrade against me sooner or later anyway. There we go. Upgrade to the shamans. Go for one armor and then I will upgrade the Ancient of War. We are very slow when it comes to research, so make sure you I get some early upgrades will be very very important. Otherwise you will fall way too far behind. As you night else. And you are finally attacking me. The Take him quite some time. Mm -hmm. We can upgrade here soon. Oh, I got control of the gold mine before we did. And even got the 50 extra gold. Ah, for us. There we go, that's a lot better. Go for one quick attack upgrade, then probably Druidism. Uh, let's just hope he did not upgrade against me. If he did, he might take throw of the sacrificial altar as well. Uh, probably not. He did not upgrade against me. Great, excellent. Yeah, the trolls are very, very strong. Getting the stronger druids will be very, very important here. Extra damage against his turtle riders is exactly what we need. The extra healing will also be extremely important. Go for one more armor, and then we might have enough gold for the Tree of Life so that we can purchase my F in case anyone else will summon a hero to the mill lane. Mm. Yeah, not a big difference here. That's cool. The dwarves are actually leading, probably because he went for free fortification upgrades. Lots of turtle riders here. So, is he buying that many units? Interesting tactic. But it does cost him a lot of gold. Yes, strong druids. Awesome. Oh man, this will be a huge counter attack. I think we should upgrade the tree of life soon. Also, free fortification upgrades. Good to know.
Uh, Blue Massive can think Troy, but he will get not spawn rather quickly. There we go. At least he did not upgrade his witch doctors yet. So that's a relief. I don't wonder what kind of aura. We should want here maybe the arcane aura. A strong. My F that can heal herself will make defending a lot easier. Upgrade complete. Poison aura. Mm. Let's go for the arcane aura then, indeed. Should have summoned my F already. Uh, let's try to get it leveled up. Of course, he's a hero killer, but if we can get it to level 10 or whatever and start controlling the lane, then that will be very, very worth a gold. Yep, he's on the counter attack and so will the Orcs be. At least the Orcs are not controlling the lane here, so that means he will be able to pillage a little bit less from the Dwarves. But please, my F, don't tell me you are going to attack the Dwarves head on. Let's go for one. Fortification upgrade then. Four, nice. The extra HP regeneration. That's so good. Yeah, for its nature, why not? Maybe ricochet and critical hit. Will make things a little bit easier for me. Research finished. We are going to take a fair amount of damage because six attack damage from those stealth riders. <laughs> Very, very scary. And now we can use Starfall. Critical hit. That's a lot of mana, but we are getting control everywhere right now. Quick Shay. A lot of shamans for the kill. What? We lose against trolls, maybe because of the six melee attack damage. But definitely a bad moment for the dwarf there. <laughs> yeah. Kinda doing this again. Yeah, the trolls are very, very strong. The only way we can probably keep up with them is by going for the tower upgrades. They are very expensive of course. Oh man, just look at them go. See spawning that many units. Yeah, nice fan of knives. We will attack this soon again. 6-5. Boy, boy. 
Yeah, the wisp will be a nice upgrade. We Just have that range. Awesome. Let's stun them. Let's go for the entangled root so that we can destroy those still right it's just a little bit easier I mean look at them go silly beast I really do not want some a hero here he's totally eating my army here Go for a few more druids. This should be sufficient. Man, we're definitely in trouble on these side lanes. Let's go. Jeez, jeez. Vengeance. These our buildings are repairing themselves quite quickly. We cannot allow to take too much damage here anymore. Because the end late game will be in comics. Soon enough, take more damage here will make us very vulnerable for an enemy ultimate weapon. What a mess. Go for the ricochet. Should be going for the couch tech soon enough. This we are performed decently well at the middle lane. We only have 12 upgrades. He did not upgrade the fortifications at all. But the only place where he is in danger of losing our buildings is against me. And it's not that likely that we are going to perform amazingly well against those trolls. Uh, did he summon here against the dwarves? Seems like it. Critical hit. It's on the hero against me now. That should be enough to counter attack me. So we have to be very careful on this side. Yeah, I could upgrade mid lane, but if we do, we will only attack the advance even faster. 
I'm just going to stay chilled here because we are in good control here. Six fortifications. Said you all explain this game quite defensively. Oh, and he has left three barracks. That's gonna suck. Yeah, this will be a very strong counter stack, so we must upgrade this barracks ASAP. Still seems to be decently in trouble there. At least we can take down those split riders without that much trouble. He's buying <laughs> many of those. Seven attack damage. Oh man, that means he has a level three. Main building already. That's quite quickly. Oh no. Yeah, but we do not want to lose you. What's up right here? Hmm, first place. Mostly do the middle lane, but we will lose my F there. Those wind riders, good. Alright, getting another druid against the trolls will be Quite useful, even more damage against the Turtle Riders. And Jared is still in a lot of trouble here. At least we have the Arcane Aura. That might give him the winner against Rocket, but he should not go in all too deep here. MF has to be worth gold at the middle lane. But we will most likely read some uh, quite soon. We'll just use Starfall. I might have been able to defend this with just Entangle, maybe Hero and some units. But I feel like passing at the middle lane is what we have to do here. Yeah, 
throw potion. It throws a left free, that means that my app will no longer take this boss, I think. 9 7. So one fortification. Using, yeah, I don't think we have to pay other much from using. Ooh, Garim, yeah, he's toast against Maya. That's not even a fair fight, really. Research finished. Those trolls are a bit annoying, though. What? Take your entrances. Should never have lost his barracks there. Bad defending. AB did redirect my arm to his barracks by hitting Jared. Oh no. Yeah, just skip him. What are I doing, my F? This board though, they will still fall against my head. Okay, we summed it twice, he kills two heroes. Could be better. But, but he did not have too many enemies to play with here. Yeah? Goodbye, my head. Search finish. Go to beast. Woo! The four barracks. Yeah, it seems like he's getting pushed by the twas real hard. The scout attack will also be quite fierce against me. Your sim will die quickly enough, that's cool. Research. Okay, let's just summon Murden to mid lane to get some experience. He's still only level 1. First place. Just where we deserve to be. The Skoda Beast will be annoying, so we probably need Jared there. Spike. Yeah, it's not going to help you, my friend. I'm sure, you might attack me, but that's also it. I'm going for the slow poison here. It's gonna be amazing against the Kodo Beast, and of course, against this pet Kodo Beast. Yeah, just chill out there, man. Yeah, sad enough, we did pull the trolls from here to there. That's why Mervurian is not at the middle lane anymore. That does suck.
Yeah, both of us. Do we feel sorry for those short midgets? I don't think so. Yeah, the ones are getting totally destroyed here. Hmm. I'm not sure why the trolls left again. And the good thing here is that Mayav can take quite a beating. Okay, now I will help her out. And I, I might have been annoyed that he's not going to push me with Spike. Who knows? Who knows? Nine. If we did upgrade his fortifications a little quicker, then you probably still would have had this barracks standing there. But hey, it's just not a, that way. Hmm, Fulgia might be trouble here. Yeah, we need to upgrade our tree of life and then go for the Buddhism. And left 20, awesome, the shadow orb is very, very powerful. Throw against my head. That's gonna be interesting. And yeah, this barracks will suffer. But look at the throw. Come on, come on, take him down. Keep hitting the throw, you fool. Ugh. But look at this barracks. Might still fall. Might not. Uh, Spike will be incoming. Patel got go for me. Oh boy. Yeah, we are going to be in trouble there. No, uh, we should be fine against Spike, I think. But Garen and Fatalga, oh boy. And there's still Thrall and Smuro and Spike incoming. Right, Jared. Jared just needed here. 
and a faint. My fear alone will be enough. I will probably still kill my tower there. Maybe not. Yeah, probably is. I really hate the uh, the way the special units focus on buildings sometimes. I expect a little bit more from my app here. Just take down Garen first, indeed. Um, I was basically killing yourself by attacking the fat there. There's one special in the down. Yeah, we do need the ultimate weapon, of course. Well, the enemies might use it on us sooner or later. And this was a rough attack. I still feel a bit gutted for losing the tower again, Spike. Tiny will defeat the tower. Oh wow. Our power is under attack. I find if they want to try and work together here. So I'll probably hit there first. I'm up. The ricochet is dealing a good amount of damage here. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. He could have defended that a little bit better than he did. I am the war chief. This is up right here. The dwarf will not use the other weapon against us. And they probably are still just gonna do it yet. Yeah, I don't feel like this is quite an amazing game on our side. But we did feel this amount of pressure on our base. And we only lost one tower, so... Yeah, my have definitely is not my 
best bones here, but I think we did a, do a decent job with her. We do not fear the boss other much anymore. Death to all inside the train. The drop might survive for a little while longer, but he will go down soon. And let's just Upgrade against the trolls then. Now things will surely be GG's soon. Research finished. Those demolishers are going down. Yeah, I suppose we just have to finish the game against the AI, which we will surely be doing it, but we did break all the enemy barracks that are able for us. It's a bit annoying that our enemies the land and I did leave the game this early, but hey, If they did work together, they might have been able to turn things around, but I don't think the AI will be able to do, cooperate that well to still give me that much trouble. There's one more tower down. Insufficient point. Sure, let's silence. Why not? This tower will also fall. Let's go for the extra income. Yeah, uh, go healing. So the dwarves have been eliminated. That's great. Only gonna be a matter of time before Fatalba will fall. <sighs> so, what shall we do here? Should we send Tiny to one of the enemies? So that we are going to get rid of that once for all. Yeah, let's go for the first nature. Small stun. Nearly halfway.
Right, hold Jim. Yeah, the old might be leading when it comes to the research, but it's not going to help him at all. What a backstabber. That's one more barracks going down. Sweet! And Stronghold is going to fall real quick here. And that's also a fortress. And then certainly gain real quickly here. No further heroes were needed. We were in good control at the middle lane, thanks to my uh, So that regard, uh, I do think he's definitely been worth uh, gold. But other than that, yeah. She did perform a little bit poorly on the defense side where we needed her. Targeted special units, not the enemy heroes. But yeah, we should have this one. Spike, yeah, you will buy the trolls a little bit more time. They will no longer spawn you from here and there. So you will kill Malfurion, but other than that... We will just slowly burst him down. Say about the orcs, they will no longer spawn units from there, so it's only a matter of time for They also will fall. Yeah, my fur and my defense fight against Spike, which was something I didn't expect with the way he was attacking my fur. Oh well, it's a mirror. The orcs are being as exactly as annoying as you could expect them to be. Got nothing to worry about them for the whole game. But their presence alone just stinks. Research. Research. Okay, heal up. I'm starting to feel slightly tight here, I'm not certain why. Oh, look at this. He also uh, helped me to get rid of the trolls. There we go. That exploded rather quickly. My friend is still alive. And we will probably win against the Orcs on every possible side, especially on the right one. Pyro can give him more experience for Malfurion. I am the hand of justice. Malf just wants to play. is massing a huge army here that will be able to defeat the orcs. 
Tangly finds. Mum mill. Good to know. Goodbye. What? Really? You're leaving your wall army there just to get back to that by some orcs. Well done, my furrier. Well done. Yeah, you're just lucky. <laughs> No longer be able to buy heroes, nor even buy any units. I have will burst through Rexar. Without a problem. There we go! And that's game! Definitely the high score. But yeah, we probably won a game by summoning my effort to the middle lane. No one really did that and tried to stop us there, so we got control over, over a long time here. And look at the gold difference from mill lane, that definitely made a big difference in this game. And yeah, the orcs could have defended a little bit better, so did the trolls. But under that, we did play a decent game ourselves, even when we got attacked by Fatalga, the Garim, I think it is. The Dwarven Repair Hero, the Sport Hero, and even on this side and that side. It was a tough moment, we lost the tower, that still sucked, but other than that, I think we played a decent game. But yeah, for now, I'm sorry guys, but this is it. <laughs> Hopefully, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.